Hello people, in this video let us look at this book Practical Aspects of Pediatrics by Mayur Chedda. What do you think they are doing here guys? They are taking the chest circumference and there are some dermatological lesions here. What do you think this is? And here they have shown a tongue. Let's take some guess. Is this chicken pox, hemangioma, swollen tonsils? What do you think? Let's look for these diagrams and let's look inside this book. So generally look at this book. Now let's look at the contents. So history taking, art of history taking, examination, symptoms that children can present with, common symptoms, abdominal distension, abdominal pain, altered taste, anorexia, back pain, back pain in children, interesting. Then bleeding, blue eyes, what is this blue eyes? It re reminds me of Bupthalmos. Um, chest pain, constipation, convulsions, coma, cough, deafness, delayed micturition in newborns, delayed puberty, diarrhea, drowsiness, dryness of mouth, dyspnea, epitaxis, epistaxis, that is bleeding from the nose, excessive crying, salivation with drooling, sweating, excessive fever, gingivitis, gynecomastia, tells me about client filters or some other problem, hematemesis, hematuria, hem hemoptysis, halitosis, halitosis is bad breath, is it? Headache, hiccups, horse voice, jaundice, joint pain, obesity, or edema, oliguria, anuria, photophobia, precocious puberty, refusal to feed, short stature, sneezing. Okay, so these this is the list of um, symptoms, common symptoms in pediatrics. Okay, then. Oh, it's not over, it's still there. Wow, that's quite an excessive, extensive book then. Just the contents abnormal signs so signs that you will check okay then now let uh, guys we are looking at this book practical aspects of pediatrics the content itself is so exhaustive which is interesting then they are talking about uh, systemic examination of the cardiovascular system so they are talking about heart disease right here and then they are talking about the systemic examination of the central nervous system what and all can be there and central nervous system what and all problems right then Let's look at this. Respiratory system, renal system, GI, hematological system issues that can be there, right? Actually, this uh, this book contents itself is very nice. You can know all the topics that you need to learn. Miscellaneous cases that you should know: uh, Downs, PEM, protein energy, malnutrition, short stature, rickets, normal neonate. Normal neonate can be a case for you, right? Section 3 is talking about the drugs in pediatrics. So what and all drugs do you uh, commonly use? Analgesics, anti-inflammatory drugs, anti-amoebic drugs. What do you use? That is metronidaz. So, sorry, what am I saying? Albendazole, mependazole, those, right? Then antibiotics that you use normally. Anticonvulsants, anticoagulants, anti-emetics and all these, all these, all these. Right? In children. Then coming to... Some other drugs, cardiotonics, corticosteroids, etc., vitamins, etc., that you use. Common dr drugs that are kept in table vivas, in your viva, what and all they can keep for you. That is also nice, really interesting. Just we are looking at the list itself is so nice. Vaccines, all the vaccines that you should know about. Radiology, what and all x-rays you should know about the age determination, right? Instruments that you should know. Ambu bag, laryngoscope, ET tube, etc., etc. Spacers. It's because they cannot use a meter dose inhaler. For children, you'll have to have an extra spacer, right? Then, um, nebulizer, needle, tubercle and syringe, IV set, Wilms, Silverman's needle. Nice. Some specific name you should know here, right? So, this is the contents, guys, of this book. Practical aspects of pediatrics. 
let's just generally look at some photos okay what do you think this is here it's inside here it's kind of bulged so what is this bulging precordium and cardiomegaly so there is enlargement of the heart so bulging precordium okay what is this image guys so at the umbilicus there's some protrusion so this is an umbilical hernia what is this image there's drooping of the eye upper eyelid in the right side yes this is a congenital torsus of right eye it's congenital because if they have given history that it's some from birth what have they marked here what do you see here guess okay pigeon shaped chest in a child with rickets so this child has a pigeon shaped chest is it generally look at this book guys so there are a lot of tables so what is dmd duchenne muscular dystrophy so they are talking about a lot of questions and topics i kind of like this book so it's up to you what is coolies 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 anemia beta thalassemia major okay then just look at the number of chest x rays they have given here nice right wow quite exhaustive if you have time to read all this okay guys so we are closing this book pediatric clinicals or practical aspects of pediatrics okay